The next day was even better. All five of us got off the ground and we were having a great old time. Temperatures were in the mid 50s, not too cold, not too hot, sunshiny. We were having a grand old time. And then this happened. Scott, he's got a new trike and a new paramotor. He's gonna tell us all about it. Scott, tell me all about it. This is a Impulse paramotor. It's Impulse with no E on the end. Understand. It's made in Poland. Awesome. It's carbon fiber stuff here. They do a really good job with paint. It feels very, very rugged. I got the trike. The reason I'm selling my Maverick is because I wanted wheels. This one, I have four pins. I could just lift off my motor and motor launch and I could fit it all in the back of the truck just like you do on yours. You do get the weight shift. It's a dual start. All right, he's got a nice fireproof pack right there for the battery. And he's got the Mighty Moster 185 on it. But this is a new MY19 Moster. Uh, really slick here's unit here. The, uh, motor for the starter. And the new MY19 has a different air box, different carburetor, and the internals of the exhaust system is different. All right. So it's supposed to be more fuel efficient. There's three springs instead of two, I believe. All right. So you get one, two, and three. Awesome. A little bigger gas tank than my Maverick had. Okay. So I'm just doing a run-in, uh, the break-in today. This thing starts phenomenal hand start. Okay. And it's just... Where are you at in the braking process right now? I just did the first run-up. So I'm waiting how, for how many run-ups do you have to do? Two. Two run-ups? Okay. So I just did the first one. All right, go ahead and give her a start there. Yeah, okay. Watch this. Our famous last words. That's nice. There you go. <laughs> I realized that we've been talking for quite a while about his new setup. It's time for me to get my trike set up and get in the air. Okay, so what happened here is that I went to mash the throttle in order to... Uh, inflate the wing and I was not getting the full power that I needed so I went ahead and shut it down and took a look at it and I ended up turning the uh, low screw just slightly counterclockwise a bit I set up again and gave it another shot Okay, so not my best takeoff, I'll admit. But now I get to do my George of the Jungle, watch out for that tree!
Okay, so definitely not the longest flight I've ever had, but after two months, it certainly felt good to get back in the air. And I was happy that I got the bog down issue fixed, and I had another day of sunshine to look forward to. Well, that was totally unexpected. I was just flying along to expect to have an encounter with an airplane, but I guess that is a genuine concern when you're out there flying these paramotors. Let that be a reminder to expect the unexpected. Let me give you a reminder. Make sure to click on the blue chiclet down in the lower right hand corner of your screen to subscribe to our next episode. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you again.